In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love, and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people task to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country and the world. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Welcome, brothers and sisters in Christ, to the celebration of the Holy Eucharist. Today is the twelfth Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our priest presider is the Reverend Father Mario Sabre Juanite of the Society of St. Paul. Superior of the Divine Master Retreat House in Ariccia, Italy, and Spiritual Director of the Acts Catholic Prayer Community. Let us join the Acts Minstrels in singing the entrance hymn. <laughs> great joy, with great confidence in him who promises to be with us in the midst of our storms, we begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, who then is this whom even wind and sea obey. Greatly awed, the disciples in the gospel of today ask this question after seeing Jesus calm a storm. Jesus, in fact, displays the same power that God affirms when he speaks to Job out of the storm. God's word today invites us to renew and deepen our faith and trust as we face the storms of our lives. Let us be aware that Jesus is with us and in us. Assured of his coming presence amidst the storm, 
May our presence too be a consolation to each other. As we pray today for all fathers, we first ask our Heavenly Father for His forgiveness, His mercy, and His grace. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Christ of mercy, Christ of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Mighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the high. Let us now pray. Grant, O Lord, that you may always revere and love your holy name, for you never deprive of your guidance those you set firm on the foundation of your love. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. God is the creator and master of the universe. His control of the forces of nature is a manifestation of his loving kindness for the human family. The first reading. A reading from the book of Job. The Lord addressed Job out of the storm and said, Who shut within doors the sea? when it bursts forth from the womb, when I made the clouds its garment, 
and thick darkness its swaddling bonds. When I set limits for it and fastened the bar of its door and said, thus far shall you come, but no farther. And here shall your proud waves be stilled. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. shown by his self-offering for our salvation. New life in Christ, says Paul, means we live no longer for ourselves, but for Christ who died for us. The second reading. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, the love of Christ impels us once you have come to the conviction that one died for all, therefore all have died. He indeed died for all, so that those who live might no longer live for themselves, 
but for him who for their sake died and was raised. Consequently, from now on, we regard no one according to the flesh. Even if we once knew Christ according to the flesh, yet now we know him, so no longer. So whoever is in Christ is a new creation. The old things have passed away. Behold, new things have come. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us give glory and honor to the Holy Gospel. prophet has risen in our midst. God has visited his people. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. And that day, as evening drew on, Jesus said to his disciples, Let us cross to the other side. Leaving the crowd, they took Jesus with them in the boat, just as he was. And other boats were with him. A violent squall came up, and waves were breaking over the boat, so that it was already filling up. Jesus was in the stern, asleep. And a caution. They woke him and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? He woke up, rebuked the wind, and said to the sea, Quiet, be still. The wind ceased, and there was a great calm. Then he asked them, Why are you terrified? Do you not yet have faith? They were filled with great awe and said to one another, Who well, then is this whom even the wind and the sea obey? Sisters and brothers, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord <clears throat> Jesus Christ. May kasabihan po na talagang pag tinutukan mo ang salita ng Diyos, every day it will offer you something fresh. In something new. Ang stilo po ni Father Mario is upang ang salita ng Diyos ay talagang lumalim. I read the gospel a week before and then let the whole week be a preparation for what the Lord will tell us to share with others. At sa aking pagbabasa po, I realized that there are two words that I never completely understood before. The first is, Now, the Gospel of St. Mark today tells us that Jesus decides to leave the crowd. Sandali, ba't mo naman iiwanan? Eh, dito puring-puri ka. Everybody's praising you, except for the scribes and the Pharisees. But he had followers who were beginning to be passionate about him. Idol na idol na siya. It was his comfort zone. Of course, napapagod siya. But he decided to leave the comfort zone place where everybody makes you feel good, everybody appreciates you, and then tells them, let us cross over. He leaves the comfort zone of his crowds appreciative of him, and then he tells them, let's cross over. And of course, Mark will now tell us that what awaited them in the crossing over the lake was a huge storm. In-underline niya yun, hindi lang yun. Big whirlwind, tempest, great storm, high winds. At ang kwento ay ganito, inside that boat, because ang sabi nila, the boat probably was around 26, 30 feet, and ang wide, ang width po noon is mga around 
eight feet. Kasya ang mga 15 persons. They say that because they have discovered the boat which they could trace to the time of Jesus. And probably that was the kind of boat that Jesus and the disciples took. But inside that boat were fishermen. They knew that side of Galilee, that's where they live. They knew it could be sometimes a raging storm that they will face because of the cold and hot wind. I don't know if I understand the description that I read in the book, but they say it was a frequent thing. These fishermen with Jesus' disciples, they knew people who have lost their lives. And yet, the storm has been so terrific. The word was, they were panicking. They knew they could lose their lives. At that moment, what was, not, was, what was making them not, not simply afraid, but kind of, ano ba to? is that Jesus was asleep. Mga kapatid, was he at peace? Was he sleeping? Did they not hear anything? Did they not feel anything? Impossible. Kasi ang description nila ng storm na yan, in that area, the storm could be so bad, the waves could go up to 30 feet. Ibig sabihin, the boat was being rocked. Water was going into the boat. As Mark would tell us, the water was filling in. The winds was raging, were raging. And at that moment, somebody was asleep. Para bagang, kung wala kami naman magagawa, samahan mo naman kami, magsagwan ka na. At that moment, they felt like, could he not do something? Is he not supposed to participate? Does he not care? Wala ba siyang pake? And they were truly panicking. Mga kapatid, sa buhay ng tao nangyayari yung point kung saan, feel mo, hindi lamang na nagtutulog-tulugan ng Diyos, pero parang malayo siya. There were moments when you would like to hear from Him and He is silent. There were moments when you feel like He is absent. The worst, there are moments when you feel like wala siyang pake. They were actually wanting to scold Jesus because of his indifference. The crisis that the pandemic has caught, brought to us has made a lot of people go through the storm of life to ask, Andiyan ka ba, Lord? May paki ka ba? Sometimes even good people will blame the Lord and I could expect that, I could understand. Uh, hindi siguro po ninyo alam pero the one that pushed me to go into the YouTube thing is June Mercader at sapagkat expert siya at yung kanyang ding anak na si, si Arnie ang first child nila ni Joanna I, I, I'm, I'm into this YouTube thing and thanks be to God the Acts community has continuously wonderfully supported us and continued this ministry with us pero mga kapatid si June just recently called me up to tell me positive siya at yung kanyang anak na si Arnie, positive din. Plus the wife pa ni Arnie. May anak pa naman silang napakaliit. I could understand if at this moment they would say, Lord naman, wala naman kaming ginagawang masama. Why are you sending us this storm? And some, for some people, the storm could really be terrible. In this moment, we ask, Lord, may paki ka ba? Ang kagandahan nito, they rushed to him and they woke him up. Ito, may nag-comment lang natatawa ako kasi sabi niya, the wind was howling but it did not wake Jesus up. Ang sarap ng tulog. The arguing disciples as to what to do. Nagtatarantahan na sila. Did not wake Jesus up. The splashing water, I'm sure, umabot na sa kanya. Tulog pa rin siya. The rocking boat that must have been going up and down on the waves, that must have been terrible. Ako, may motion sickness ako. That would have waken me up like anything. But all these did not wake Jesus up. But woke Jesus. The cry of his disciples. My dear friends, sabi ng isang eksperto, alam mo parang nanay, 
na pag, pagod na pagod na. He sleeps to all the racket that could happen in the house. All the noise that is happening in the house. The hole ng aso, pwede niyang tulugan niya. But the moment umiyak ang bata, gising ang nanay. Because nakatune in siya doon sa pangangailangan ng kanyang anak. Jesus actually is tuned in to our needs. And though sometimes we may feel like He is not there, just remember this, that He died for us and that His whole life was dedicated to becoming for us salvation. Mga kapatid, we are assured of His presence. In fact, the moment they woke Him up, He had to show His Lordship. He was not only the carpenter of Nazareth. He was not only a messenger. Now he acts like a God. Asleep like a man. But acts like a God as he commands the winds and the waves to be still. Dear friends, brothers and sisters. <coughs> May mga pagkakataon sa buhay natin when we can begin to question the Lord. But strangely today, the Lord has a question for His disciples. As He rebuked the winds and the waves, na para bagang He was doing exorcism and the power of the evil one, and tells Him, quiet, be still. No? Dalawang, tatlong kataka. And nature obeys. As He stood there, He had to turn to the disciples and say, hanggang ngayon ba takot na takot pa rin kayo? Hanggang ngayon ba hindi pa rin kayo naniniwala? Maybe that's a question you will ask of each and every one of us who are going through so much in life. There will be moments that when we feel like, Lord, please make your presence be felt. There will be moments when the Lord wants us like He did to leave the comfort zones of our lives to cross over the lake and the storms for us to learn a few things. Kaya nga, somebody, an expert said, ang ginabi tataka is not master but teacher. Do something. Why? Because He wants to, for us to understand this beautiful message of His presence that saves. Ang plano kasi, sabi ng isang nabasa ko, when He said, we will cross over, hindi niya sinabing, madalian yun. Hindi niya sinabing, walang kahirap-hirap. Ang pangako niya lang, we will cross over. So much so that we can say, He was not this by the winds and the waves and the howling of the winds and the rising of the water. He was more disturbed by the unbelief ng kanyang mga disciples. Ang tagal na. Ang dami nyo nang nakita. Ang dami nyo nang na-experience. Hanggang ngayon ba? Hindi pa rin kayo naniniwala. My dear friends, brothers and sisters, today they see Jesus not just as a man who speaks in the name of God, but as a God who speaks to man, powerful and mighty, who is Lord even of the waves and the seas. Siguro nitong mga araw na ito, in, as we continue to go through our difficulties, huh, of our difficulties in uh, this moment of great sorrows and pains because of the pandemic, we will have to ask Jesus for that courage, that passivity. He is with us. Everything is going to be okay. Salamat na discover ko to. Viewing the American, America get, has got, got AGT, America has got talent. In one of those um, uh, ano ba tawag nila? Yung tinatry nila kung pwede yung, yung contestant. Nakit, napanood ko po ito at napadala sa akin ng mga members ng Marys. And it's, it's beautiful to share. One of those contestants 
who are who was being judged by the judges of course sama si Simon Cowell no presented her herself as uh, one who wanted to try kung pwede siya nang tinanong siya uh, how are you what, what's your name ang sagot niya Jane okay and how are you doing ang sagot niya I'm awesome payat na babae Maigsi ang buhok. How old are you, Jane? I'm 30 years old. I'm coming from Ohio. Ang sabi niya. And then, tinanong siya, How, what have you been doing? I used to sing my name. My, my name is Nightbird. But I'm not singing anymore. Uh, okay, sabi niya. So what are you going to sing for us? I'm going to have an original song sung. Okay, and what's the title of that song? Sabi niya, I'm okay. Have you been singing recently? Ah, hindi na po. What is the song about? Well, it's going to be the story of my, the last year of my life. What is it about? Ang sabi niya, well, I have been struggling with cancer. So ang tanong ni Howie, isa sa mga judges was, and how are you doing now? Sagot niya, well, in my last exam, I was found to have cancer now in my spine, in my liver, and in my lungs. So ang sabi sa kanya, but he said, but I'm all right. Hindi, hindi nakasagot ang mga judges. The doctors say I have 2% to live. Then you're not all right, sabi nung isa sa mga judges. No, I'm all right. I'm all right. Tapos dinugtong niya to, which is really shocked a lot of people. It is important that everybody knows that I, that I am so much more than my that the, 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 the bad things that have happened to me. Can you imagine? Huh? I am not defined by my cancer. I'm not defined by the bad things that have happened to me. I am more than this. Incredible positivity. Incredible sense of hope. Tapos dinugtong niya. Well, they gave me 2% to survive. But 2% is not 0%. 2% is something. Sino naman lang kayang panghawakan ang 2%? But Jane was saying, I'm all right. I'm okay. Alam niyo mga kapatid, all those in the audience were all shocked. This is an incredible woman. And they kept on saying, I'm okay. In fact, nag-comment sila that when he went in there, hindi halata because he was glowing in his smile, glowing with light, glowing with that sense of hope na hindi mo naaasahan sa mga taong sinasabing may 2% na lamang na natitira. So sabi na, okay then, let's hear you. So kinanta niya ang story niya and she just kept on repeating, I'm okay, I'm alright. Sabi niya noon, I wanted to change my name thinking that by, this, by becoming another person, I will leave behind all my problems. Hindi pala ganun yun. And then towards the end, you know, everybody clapped for her. Not only because she sang beautifully, but because the message was just incredible. And then, nang dinaas na sila, oh, ano ang iyong sagot? Yes, yes, yes. Pagdating kay Samo, sabi niya, unfortunately, I cannot give you a yes, but I will give you something else. Bang! Golden buzzer. Golden buzzer. You know, towards the end, ito yung talagang grabbing message niya. Sabi niya, are you going to be okay? I'm going to be okay because he said, you cannot wait until life is not difficult anymore in order to decide to be happy. Sabi na? Happiness does not depend upon the difficult things of life. But more so if you are a believer of Jesus who promises the boat will not sink because I am with you in the boat. And as I have said, we will cross over we will cross over the storms and the difficulties of life if only you can believe and continue to believe in my power as God.
the Holy Father invites us today to pray for hope. Yun ang sabi niya. To pray for hope. To believe that there is a reason for us to continue to look at things and then still declare, it's okay. We will be all right because our God is greater than all the storms of life. We pray today for every father, living and dead, that the Lord may bless all of them for their efforts. We pray today that every father may truly be a father of courage, of faith, and of hope. Amen. And so we declare, I believe in one God. The Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible, I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us now pray to God our Father that with his power we may weather the storms of life, that our response be, Lord, save your people. Lord, save your people. For the church, the boat of Peter, that it may not lose heart when the storms of persecution and dissension threaten to sink it, we pray. Lord, save your people. For our government and civil leaders, that they may spare no effort to bring peace to places where rebellion and armed conflict are destroying lives and homes, we pray. Lord, save your people. That political and civil leaders may desist from going after instant popularity and political windfalls, but pursue what is truly beneficial for the people, we pray. Lord, save your people. For families beset by continual fighting and for homes threatened by the surging waves of unemployment and poverty, that they may find in Jesus the will to weather these storms, we pray. Lord, save your people. For the fathers in the world, that you may guide them to be good role models and loving to their children. Be a father like you are, and may you give them grace and patience to handle situations in a loving way, we pray. Lord, save your people. For viewers, the homebound, and their families, may the Almighty Lord, through the powerful intercession of our Blessed Mother, grant all intentions and requests offered through this Mass, we pray. Lord, save your people. For our beloved departed, that the Lord may lead them safely home to heaven and fulfill their faith and hope, we pray. 
Lord, save your people. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, save your people. Father, amid the various storms of life, let us again hear the voice of your Son. Quiet, be still. May we find peace in our hearts and in one another. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. that our sacrifice be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, the sacrifice of consolation and praise and grant that cleansed by its action, we may make offering of a heart pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings, divinity, and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself, that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Oh, oh, oh. 
are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the blood and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the death of the Lord until you come again. Until you come again, we proclaim. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, with our cardinals and bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have blessed you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. In Jesus, we are shown a God who cares, who in fact accompanies us, who crosses the storms of our lives with us. As we pray to the Father in heaven with Jesus, we pray for courage, for faith, for great trust as his children. We pray the Our Father.
Deliver us, Lord, from every evil and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. For the Jesus Christ who said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We have a God in the boats of our lives who in the midst of the storms can stand up and declare to the storms and the waves, be quiet, be still. If we truly have faith in him, we will have peace. Let's share that peace with one another. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Behold, he who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us together pray this prayer for a spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Renewed and nourished by the sacred body and precious blood of your Son, we ask of your mercy, O Lord, that what we celebrate with constant devotion may be our sure pledge of redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Bago po natin tapusin ang ating misa, I'd like to say a short prayer para po sa ating mga tatay because they have a great responsibility not just before God, but before their wives, their children, their family. Father in heaven today, as we go through the storms of this pandemic, we ask that you strengthen every father, that they may be sources of courage, of hope, of provision, that despite of all the problems of life, they may continue to be faithful, available, trustworthy, honest, an example to their children, and response able to the necessities, necessities of their family. We pray for all the fathers who have gone ahead of us. Welcome them into your kingdom. And as we pray for all of these, we pray for our results and for the courage to hope, to declare it's okay because our God is a great God. This is our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the blessing of Almighty God come upon you and remain with you always. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Ang aming pong patuloy na pasasalamat sa mga sumusuporta po nito, sa mga nagko-comment, malaking bagay po yun sa amin, sa mga nagpapadala po ng inyong mga intentions so that we can pray with you. And of course, to the people behind the camera, lahat na naghahanda, I, I would like to thank you. And let's hope na hagang habang pinapayagan ni Lord that this ministry will continue to give hope to give a sense of courage to trust more Him who promises to bring us cross over the storms of our lives. Thank you for, for subscribing, for sharing, and for liking this that we have presented to you. Go in the peace and love of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God bless you. Thanks be to God, who always causes us to triumph in His name. Thanks be to God, who always causes us to win. Yeah. Thanks be to God, who always causes us to triumph in His name. Thanks be to God, thanks be to God. We have overcome. Hallelujah.